Hello everyone, I'm Lexi, and I was scrolling through Instagram the other day, you know, like you do, and I saw this account, uh, Magic Art Challenges, and I saw she had some DTIYS, draw this in your style. So I was like, dope, her art looks good, and you should all follow her, link is in the description below. Anywho, I saw this fun creature looking one and decided, okay, I'll draw this in my style, so let's go! So with the hair, I tried to follow the original art piece, which is very wavy slash curly hair that's also shoulder length, at least. And I think I did okay. I also tried to give the fawn a very childlike, mischievous look to her, and I think she looks absolutely adorable. Now you may not see this immediately, but I found out that when I drew the horns, uh, the top part of the tip under the ear on the left horn. I didn't realize they match up, that they didn't match up until way later, and uh, everything was already connected and all that kind of stuff. So you know, I was like, "Great, I'm already too far into the drawing to undo everything I just did and match it up." But it is, in my defense, it is my first time drawing horns, so there's that. And hey, as if, if they matched up, they would have looked a lot better. But no one will know. No one. So I know in the original picture she's just wearing a long sleeve shirt, but I saw her wearing a but I saw her in my mind's eye. I saw her wearing a turtleneck and thought, okie dokie, and voila! Also, I think she looks really cute in it. Helping add to her mischievous nature, I think. So color, for the most part, if not the whole part, I use the colors that magic, uh, that magic art challenges use. I just use the eyedrop tool, you know? And for the skin, again, I didn't like how it looks with my, with my drawing, so I made the opacity of the skin like 80% or less, I think.
My favorite part, the eyes. I'm not sure why I love doing eyes so much. It might be because you can add so much detail and expression to them, but I think it's because they are the most detailed out of the whole piece, at least in mine, I think. Magic Art Challenges. Her art is great and always detailed. It's so different from mine and it looks great. Again, follow her if you haven't already. Back to the eyes though. I think this was the only part where I used colors that wasn't a part of her piece, or at least I don't use that eyedrop tool to use the colors she used. I also did something a little different in the eyes here, so I used a light brown orange color and used it under where the pupil is to add more light tones to her eyes. Then with the lights of the eyes, I used some blue, green uh, sparkles here and there to accent the brown. I think it looks good.
So, I don't know why I decided to make the centerpiece jewel thingy red instead of a gold cylinder, but <laughs> but I did. I was just like, this is how it looks, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's how that was made. I am not really proud of it. I wish I made it a gold block instead, but I feel like this adds variety. Please don't hate me. So in the original, the hair on the ears and the hair on the rest of the head are different shades of red slash brown. So again, I used the colors from the original picture and made the hair on the ears darker and used the red of the head of hair on the head of hair. Used the red of the head on head of hair on her head. Does that make sense? So at that part, I was like, maybe the underside should be darker. And then I was like, nah. And that hair was the same shade as everything else, and lighter in the shading process. <laughs>
Shading. Did they scare you? Sorry if I did. But that's what we're but that's what we're on. Shading. So as usual, I start with soft soft airbrush shading uh, for the face, and this is when I brought in the freckles. And I'm not sure why I never did this before. Like characters can be cute, but adding freckles makes them like ten times cuter, in my opinion. And then I ruin the childlike feel of her by adding color to the lips. Now and sometimes it looks so good. And in anime artworks, they can work, but I just feel like it didn't work on this one. And you might ask, then why did you then why didn't you get rid of it, Lexi? Well, it was on the shading layer that had everything else and it automatically saved everything. And whenever I tried to get rid of it or erase it, I got rid of the coloring and shading that I already did that I thought was perfect. So that is why, my dear watchers, I couldn't undo it. Don't make the same mistakes that I did. Keep everything on a separate layer and make sure it is on a separate layer. Don't be an idiot like me. Now, I saw that the artist used shading similar to crosshatch shading, so I did a little here. Some under the lips, and around and under the chin and neck, and I did a little around the breasts. The breasts. The rest of the shading I do is normal and how I normally do. And here I decided to add some soft airbrush shading to give the shirt a fuzzy feel. So I did most of the highlighting here, I guess, but with the horns I tried to remember where the source of light was, and shade and highlight the correct areas, and I think I did alright, and then I shade the hair like I've done in the past, and just say it. finished products. 
So this wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I definitely think it could have been better, but I say that about everything. There is always room for improvements, just as long as you're happy with whatever you've done. That's all that matters as well. This is actually the first do this in your style that I've actually done. If you want to see me do more, please let me know in the comments below or on Instagram. The link is in the description below. Again, hello. Again, follow Magic Art Challenges on Instagram. That's where I found the phone. Anywho, it looks like my time here is up. If you like it, please let me know. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. It helps out a lot. And if you want to see what I'm going to do next, follow me on Instagram. If you have any comments about it, please, again, tell me on Instagram or in the comments. I'd be more than happy to hear your thoughts. And I hope you all have an amazing morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time of day it is. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!